Welcome back to the show. Thanks for keeping it locked right here on Pets on Parade. If anyone is a fan of The Lion King, then I'm sure their favorite hyena was Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that he can quite make that Ed noise yet, but he has just the tiniest little thing. My hands are just covering him up. Just nine weeks old. He's got a little orange tuxedo on, and um, he loves to play in boxes. Every time I go by his kennel, he's hiding in his box, and as soon as you reach in there, he pops right out and grabs your hand. So he is the king of surprises, and if you are somebody who loves kittens, we are always looking for kitten cuddlers and people to socialize our kittens at both of our locations. So you can go on our website to do a volunteer orientation, but what couldn't be better than playing with little kittens all day long on your volunteer shift? Yes, exactly. And we have tons of other ways to volunteer, too, if cats aren't quite your jam. Thanks, Lisa. And word around the Arizona Humane Society is that this next pup is quite the romantic. Now, I don't know, but I've heard that she gives great kisses, Perry. She does, and she's oh so grateful. This is a doggy that was found uh, by your EMTs in a pet. Uh, for as long as a day witness has told us. And so a note to everybody, when you see an animal like this, call us immediately. Time is of the essence. But uh, Carson here, she was not eating, she was not uh, drinking, and she wasn't walking either. So she was in pretty bad shape. It turned out she had a lot of abrasions on her body, some wounds that looked like road rash, so most likely hit by a car. And the leg wasn't in very good shape either, so she went back to our Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital. And she's doing very, very well now. She's all good. You know, if she was a healthy doggy, she probably would have went to Maricopa County in that situation. But she came to us because, well, one of our missions right now is to help the sick and the injured. So being that she was an injured stray rather than a healthy stray, that's why she's with us. We have some uh, vets that uh, specialize in, in some of the orthopedics and stuff that this doggy needed. She's a, uh, an, an older gal. She's got a little bit of hip dysplasia going on, which is very, very common for this breed. But she's in great shape. Otherwise, she walks nicely. And like you said, she gives the greatest kisses. Oh, my gosh, yes, do. <laughs> now, I'm not sure about this combo, but who am I to question something this cute? Please tell us about Socks and Jello, Brie. These two little boys are so much fun. <laughs> they really like each other, so definitely uh, consider taking both of them home, maybe, <laughs> so they can be buddies. But they're about nine weeks old. They're like Brussels Griffon mixes. And as you can see, they love each other very much. And why they love each other so much is that at a week old, they were dropped off at the shelter. And super foster mom, Carol, took them in for two months to make sure that they were bottle fed. So they are just raring to go now. They're happy, they're healthy, and they're just little bundles of joy. Oh my gosh, yes they are. And they are great at kisses too. Who doesn't love puppy kisses? Now that's it for today's show. If you have any questions about any of the amazing cuties, make sure to visit that website. And thank you so much for tuning in this week and every week. Please make sure that you're keeping your pets safe at home and make sure that you're advocating for the pets at the Arizona Humane Society. We'll see you next week.